pruning a fruit tree, we want to start out with uh, cleaning up our tools, and the hand pruner is a common tool to use. Uh, we want to get the uh, blades, and you can use just a rough file like this to get some of the debris that, that's still on the blade. And it's amazing if you clean, clean these surfaces up uh, and get the uh, get back to the metal, they, they'll cut a lot easier and they'll cut a lot cleaner. You'll have a cleaner cut. So um, you, you even get into this surface here and try to clean it as, as well as you can. And once, you, once you've done the basic cleaning work, then you, then you can go, you can use the, the file uh, on real rough um, burrs and, and, and places like that if you need it. But if, you, if your tools are in pretty good shape, just go to a, a medium um, uh, file like this. You want, you, wanna, you wanna keep this part of the blade flat. So you're basically just holding your, holding your file and, 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 and uh, moving it flat from this side. Then on this side, it's beveled. So you actually wanna work that bevel and get it and uh, get it sharp. So, so basically, you're pulling, you're pulling the stone uh, to you like this, and uh, a few, a few strokes like that, and maybe a couple more on the back side should, should make it ready. Same, same thing on the uh, loppers. Um, I wanted to emphasize now. On, when you choose, a, if you ha in your pla in a pla place where you're choosing a pruning tool, try to get one that is a bypass. And by bypass, I mean the, the, the large blade bypasses the small blade. So you see as you see as the blade comes together, how this blade is actually bypassing this blade, and we, we call that a bypass design. If you choose this design, you'll get a much closer cut and much cleaner cut, and the tree will heal better. Uh, and the same with your loppers. Uh, the by, this larger blade is actually by, uh, uh, bypassing the, uh, the thinner blade here. Well, today we're working on a, on a two-year-old grafted tree. Uh, and um, uh, two years ago, about this time, we came in and grafted a one-inch trunk down here of a Bradford pear or a seedling from a Bradford. That's an ornamental pear tree that is grown for its beauty and has real small marble sized fruit and what we're doing is we're taking advantage of a root system that's already in the ground for a couple of years and quite extensive and we're grafting on uh, two varieties of edible pears one um, which I'm calling uh, Lecant it's not, not had been, hasn't been fully identified yet but Lecant and then Maxine so th this variety is different from this variety the reason is that we can get pollination uh, cross-pollination fertilization from two varieties better than just from one. We have what we, we call a permanent branching on the, on the pear tree and this, this is going to be our first permanent branch. It's called a scaffold. So our number one scaffold branch is right here. We choose it. And I, I choose it especially because I want to save it because it's a different variety. And then I'm going up here to a second one about 30 inches, maybe 24 inches up and a third of the way around the trunk. Our second permanent branch and it's labeled and then our third one we've chosen to go back to this side and it's, it's up roughly another another two feet and going the opposite direction from this one so we have three to here and then our fourth one someday will be up in here and so we, we've actually flagged it so we are going to we're going to prefer it or going to prune the tree so that all of these are pruned less and others are going to be pruned more Okay, now uh, to actually do the pruning, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in and work on everything that's not a permanent branch and cut, cut them back. So this one is not permanent and this one is. I've already put a spreader in here. Uh, probably need to spread it just a little bit more. Uh, I, I, I do use dry, dry bamboo, which works, works well as a spreader. Um, and um, we like to get a 60 degree angle from the trunk going out. We like to get a 60 degree angle here for, for our spreading. So these are pretty close to 60 degrees, both of these. Um, and you try to catch it up underneath something like this. 
and uh, try to force it in to where to where it'll hold. And that right there is a better spreader for for right here. Um, so permanent, permanent, and then temporary, temporary. Okay. <laughs> So what we're going to want to do here is to shorten this one up and probably prune it to something going out. So if you look over here, we've got this going out that way, so we'll cut that out. We'll cut right here to shorten that up. And this one's already got new growth on it, clip it back. Now, if I, um, <clears throat> if I were to cut this, <clears throat> say I wanted to cut it to that bud there, there's a small bud right there, and I cut it here, I'd be leaving a stub. It's between the bud and where I cut it is a stub and the tree cannot heal that part. So always cut close to the bud where you want it to grow and you want it to, to grow to a bud going out. So pr pruning is directing growth out and then sometimes it's directing it down or sometimes up. This one over here we're going to shorten up because it's t almost as tall as that. So here I'm taking it again to, to a shoot. You see that? If I were to cut it here, I'd be leaving a stub, okay? Take it all the way down to where, where you want it to grow and cut it there and it's flush and the tree can heal. And this one will take this out that direction. to, to uh, identi identify the scaffolds, label them, and then go in and cut back anything that's not labeled, which are temporary. So we've done that already on about six of these. Now we're gonna go back. The last step in pruning the pear tree at two years old is to go and prune the, each scaffold. And there's not a lot to prune on this. This one uh, has a lot of growing to do. It is getting kind of tall, and, and so we wanna force more of these to come down lower we don't want it to grow so tall so let's cut it right here to this bud right right there and if you see can you see that okay yeah i'm going to cut it right there and that's going to shorten everything up and it's going to force it's going to keep it from growing tall again and hopefully force these to come with more growth because we do want this permanent branch to fill out and occupy this whole space eventually so that that one gets cut back um, you can cut back a little bit on this one here, but probably not too much. Um, probably will take it to a little bud going back over this way. So the, so the growth here can shift back this direction a little bit. Um, it's got a lot of flowers on it. We don't want to let all this fruit set. If all of these were going to become pears, it would be, it would be overwhelming for this, this branch. It might even break it. <laughs> so we want to probably thin this out when the fruit is about the size of a penny or a dime we want to thin out the fruit maybe maybe one fruit here on each of these uh, and maybe one or two down here so no more than say uh, four about four fruit on this whole limb uh, because of the weight of the fruit uh, both of these varieties the pears are quite large and actually just to let two fruit on this would be fine because then we get more growth uh, of the scaffold system or the permanent uh, branch system for future years. There's always a balance between allowing fruit to grow and then, uh, or too much fruit to grow and then, and then you hold back growth. Uh, if you get it down to the right number of fruit, then you'll get growth and fruit. So you kind of have to be satisfied with some of both. Uh, you're, you're looking for fruit on a young tree, but you also want to keep developing it. And then, you're t then we look over here to the side and this is quite large now in relation to what we've got here. So let's go ahead and cut it to here and head it that way. And let's let this one come out in the direction it should be growing, which would be more or less right there. So basically this, this one is pruned. So be real careful how much you spread these. But we, we are kind of trying to get to about a 60 degree angle for, uh, from, the main, from the main trunk. This is the leader on this scaffold right up here. Um, 
unfortunately, well, yeah, this bud here is leading it out, so we'll leave that. We'll cut that shoot off on the inside, and then we'll uh, probably leave this one right here the way it is. This can be shortened up inside because we want to favor the development of this. Um, we could almost cut it to here and let it come out more this way and shorten up on this one. So trim it there on your terminal. Then looking to the sides, we're wanting to shorten this up over here to right there. We want to shorten that up some. And we want to shorten this one up because it's too, too long in relation to the terminal. So we're pruning right in there. So that basically gets that, that permanent prune. And from this, we'll get a lot of good new growth now coming out. Yeah, on a, on a young tree, you're going to have to balance out how much fruit you leave to how much growth you want to get. And uh, if you leave it too heavy on fruit, you're going to have very little growth for the next year. Uh, you're looking at a five-year plan on a young tree. And so by the time it gets to five years, it's not as critical that it keep a full load of fruit. But even then, you can overdo it, and you can have twice as many fruit as you should have on a, on a five-year-old tree. So our rule of thumb is to try to leave a fruit every roughly every six inches as you go up up the branch. So every every six inches as we go up, or in this case maybe one, two, uh, three, and maybe four. So about four pairs on this on 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 this uh, the, this permanent branch for a two-year-old tree. Uh, get them off when they're no bigger. Don't let them get any bigger than a dime. If you let them get up to a quarter size, the tree's already spent its energy in making all these quarter size, and it should have put, been putting that into growth.